In this video, I'll show how to operate the HTP Revolution 2500 for shielded metal arc welding or stick welding. For stick welding, we can go ahead and remove the TIG torch if you had it installed, and then install the stick welding electrode holder in that same port. Because the polarity is changed automatically within the machine, it will be set to electrode positive for stick welding without having to move the work clamp at all. I'll start off by selecting the stick welding process using the mode button. There are a few different ways to control it. Let's take a look at them. So by pressing this button, I can select either a manual or an easy set mode. We'll start off with the manual mode for settings. With that selected, you can either use standard or pulsed stick welding. We'll select standard. Now you can adjust the amperage using the knob on the left and it can be welded as is, or you can fine tune some of the details of the arc by pressing this button. Here you can set a hot start, which will give a momentary burst of current when you first start the weld, when you first strike an arc. You can also adjust your arc force, which will increase your welding amperage if your arc gets pretty short. Let's return back to the home menu and it's ready to weld. Now let's look at using the easy set function. With easy set, you don't need to know the amperage for your particular electrode. You can select between them here, either 6013, 7018, or 6011. Let's select a 7018, and you can select an electrode diameter here. In this case, we'll pick 1 8. Now it's set the amperage, but you can still fine tune it and adjust for your particular application or electrodes. And it also presets the hot start and arc force, but once again, you can override this to your liking for your particular application. Finally, let's take a look at the pulsed stick welding settings, which can give you a little bit better control in some cases. So here in the stick menu, we'll once again select our manual settings, and then scroll down to pulsed welding. In this mode, I can use this button to adjust all the pulse settings. So I'll press that and it'll open up this menu where I can adjust pulse frequency or the number of pulses per second between a higher and a lower amperage. By cycling through, I can adjust the percentage of time that it's at that set amperage that's set on the machine. And I can also adjust the background amperage that it's at when it's not in that peak state. This background amperage is a percentage of my weld setting. That's how to operate the HTP Revolution 2500 for stick welding.